In this example, I will show you how to create an ERD for a simple uh, phone book uh, database, which consists of only two tables. The first table is, is going to be our contact table where we are going to store uh, personal inform name, person's name information. In other table, we are going to store uh, phone num number information. And a person may have multiple phone numbers, you know, home phone number, uh, cell phone number. So therefore, there's going to be a one-to-many relationship between these two tables. Let's create these tables. Make sure uh, when you're on DIA, you have the database sheet selected. There are also other sheets available, uh, but the, we are, what we are going to use is the database one. And uh, there are three options here, basically. The left one is the table. Basically, click the table once, then click the whiteboard area. Since we will need two tables, let's do it twice. And double click on each of these little boxes. Uh, so that you can change the table name. First is going to be contact. And what we like to specify is we like to make sure primary keys are underlined and the bold uh, font uh, used for primary keys. As for attributes, select the attributes tab and click new to add a new attribute. First is going to be our contact ID, which is our primary key. Click new again and we are going to contact first name and contact uh, name and click OK. You can always go back and edit the attribute names and the table name basically from selecting any of these options. And let's click the next one. This is going to be our phone number table. Here we are going to use same properties, attributes, phone ID, which is our primary key, contact ID, which is our foreign key, and we are going to have phone number, and we need to type cell phone or home phone or office phone, that kind of information, click OK. Now we have two tables and the relationship is one to many from one side is being the contact side and the many side is the phone number because a person may have uh, multiple phone numbers. And if you look at the left bottom corner, uh, basically there are three boxes here which uh, basically designates uh, the type of the relationship. Uh, now we are not focusing on the, the relationship strength and etc. that kind of or optionality at this point. Basically for the left select the one side this is the one being the one side and for the right side is being the many side okay now we have specified the relationship and there are a number of options here there's a single line and straight line and also there's a zigzag line the zigzag line is much better to use because in this case we have two tables but you may probably you'll have uh, more than two tables in your database and it allows you to actually move tables easily. Click the zigzag line and click the white area. And you can drag them from these little yellow dots so that you can expand these uh, this line. And hold from the this little uh, green dot and move it over to the contact ID, which is the primary key. And it is a foreign key in this phone number table. So basically, you're, moving, uh, you're making these connections between these two tables via this contact ID uh, attribute and make sure your line indicates uh, that those attributes. Finally, you like to uh, get a copy of this uh, ERD uh, as a JPEG file or in another format so that you can use it in a documentation. Simply go to File, select Export, and there are a number, you can specify the name here, and there are a number of format options available here including PDF other things so you can select JPEG and give it a name and click Save and you're all set.